<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I just wanted to come on this morning because I just want to address a couple of things. I just got off the phone with a sister that I do believe is indwelled with the Holy Spirit, and I do believe that she is hearing from the Lord, but I also believe that she is interpreting and discerning what he's trying to tell her incorrectly in her carnal flesh. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And also a lot of the scriptures that she um, said to me, she's interpreting them also incorrectly. Uh, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm concerned about a couple of things. Um, two things, mainly. Number one, she doesn't believe that Jesus, Yeshua, or Yehoshua, is God. Well, it says in Scripture... In John 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay? And there was nothing made that was not made by Him. That's a couple of scriptures down. And then it also says in John 1, 14, and the Word became flesh. And dwelt among men. <clears throat> only, only God can forgive sins. Only God. And the reason why Yahushua did not take himself down from the cross was because he loves us so much. God loves us so much that he had fulfilled. He had to fulfill what he came to do and that was to not abolish the law but to fulfill the law because Adam broke it man cannot keep it it took God himself to come down off his throne to keep it for us and that's exactly what he did as a Hebrew on this earth okay he fulfilled every letter of the law for us in our sinful flesh. Fully man, fully God. And then the wages of sin, of course, is death. So when he died, he took our punishment, our righteous punishment from a righteous God, which is death for our sin. So he fulfilled both things in our sinful flesh for us. That's why he is our savior. Okay. Yeshua means my salvation. Which also means God incarnate. Emmanuel. God with us. That's who he is. He says if you have seen me you have seen the father. Okay. So death could not hold him. Because he was without sin. He fulfilled every letter of the law. All 613 do's and don'ts of the Torah. And the Ten Commandments. He, he, he covered it all. He died as a perfect human being. In our sinful flesh. Which redeems us. And gives us his Righteousness through the spirit of the confession of faith in him. Okay. If we believe in our hearts, we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that he is Lord. Then we will be saved. It is through a confession of faith, not works. We're not under the law anymore. We're under a new covenant called grace. There's one more thing that concerns me. That you please quit telling your children that they're going to go to hell if they lie. This child you told me was eight years old. This child is under the age of accountability. If that child was to pass, God forbid, he'd go directly to the father, regardless of his sin. 
they are not accountable when they're little like that. They're not mature. They're they're not. It says, you know, bring your children up in the way you should have them go. So that when they are older, they will not depart from the way. Bring them up in the way you should have them go. They are not mature yet to make those decisions yet for themselves. They're not mature. They're children. They're babies. So anyways, I hope this has been a blessing. I just ask that you please quit telling these little ones that they're going to go to hell. Because it's not right. You're putting them in fear and condemnation. Sorry about my phone in the background, you guys. But anyways, I will be praying for you, sweetheart. I'm not, I have no ill feelings towards you. I just pray you stay on my channel and you learn the true gospel of grace and you learn who God is and you learn who Jesus is. You know, every language calls him by a different name. But in the spirit, he knows who, exactly who we're crying out to. God bless you. God be with you. Amen and amen.